Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! Alright, so let's start off with uh, the Cheerios Apple Cinnamon. Apple Cinnamon Cheerios is actually mad underrated. We all know this, but um, it's not the greatest. It's not the worst. So Apple Cinnamon Cheerios can get a C on there. Cookie Crisp. Cookie Crisp, I think, is trash. <laughs> Cookie Crisp is trash. Special K, no flavor, no sauce, trash. Even though it's one of the best, the, the most healthy or the healthiest, let me get my grammar right, that some of the healthiest cereal you can actually get, Garbo. Kicks, Garbo, Apple Jacks. Okay, okay, now we starting to get into it. Apple Jacks, in my opinion, Apple Jacks, Apple Jacks is A tier. It doesn't it doesn't get to the s tier to me but it's right there where it's solid you can never go wrong with it it's just it's got the flavor it doesn't cut up your mouth solid solid choice cornflakes ass bottom tier absolutely bottom tier we got the count chocula count chocula solid b tier put the count chocula there all right, now we got the captain getting into the game. The El Capitano, Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch is B tier. And why I say Captain Crunch is B tier, Captain Crunch has a great flavor. It's consistent, but it'd be fucking, it'd be fucking the, the roof of your, your mouth up, man. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be fucking up the roof of your mouth, man. Captain Crunch does some damage. While it tastes solid, it it does some damage. Let's keep it a buck. Rice checks, no flavor, ass tier. See, now this is the dark horse with Captain Crunch. C classic Captain Crunch is okay, but when you start adding flavors to Captain Crunch, that's when it starts to step up. Peanut butter Captain Crunch is A tier. Cause I feel like it's, it's better than the classic Captain Crunch, right? So in my opinion, it goes, it goes A tier with Apple Jacks, okay? Honey bunches of oats. Honey bunches of oats. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I love me some honey bunches of oats. I love me some honey bunches of oats. I think honey bunches of oats is also another A tier. Another A tier, I think it's better than the peanut butter Captain Crunch as well. Okay, nothing S tier yet. Nothing S tier yet. Nothing's got, nothing's, uh, nothing on here is, uh, oh. Nothing on here has got, gotten to the S tier. Rice Krispies. Um, I'll keep it a buck with y'all. I think Rice Krispies are straight ass. I do not like Rice Krispies at all. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, baby. The classic. Now, the thing about Cinnamon Toast Crunch, boy. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is a, is a powerhouse before it's soggy. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is a powerhouse. Like, undefeated. It can't be stopped. But when it gets soggy, it's one of the worst cereals when it's soggy. But going by the speed that I eat my cereal and it, I never leave it soggy, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's in front on A tier. And the reason why I give it front on A tier, it's better than Apple Jacks, it's better than Honey Bunches of Oats, it's better than Captain Crunch. But it has that weakness of you have to eat it you know pretty fast otherwise it gets soggy and i know that's the case with all these here john that's the case with all these here. but cinnamon toast crunch is like almost uneatable i mean the the milk though that's the thing the, the how it changes the game of the milk consistency too after you're done it's not just like regular milk you drink it's a cinnamon it's like horchata cinnamon toast crunch might be s tier it might be S tier because not only is it godlike before it's soggy, but the milk with the cinnamon, it's like a horchata that you're drinking after that. I mean, it's, yo, we move in cinnamon. We, cinnamon Toast Crunch goes S tier, bro. 
I'm changing it. I'm changing. Fuck it. It's S tier right now. We got our first S tier. Uh, frosted mini wheats. Frosted mini wheats, I say, are solid. Uh, they have the soggy problem. Once again, you know, frosted mini wheats are bomb at the beginning. When they get soggy, they ain't too strong, you know. And then, and then some of the boxes you get doesn't have the, it doesn't have the consistency. It doesn't have the, uh, doesn't have the flavor. Like, you know, some of the ones you open them up and it, some of them has like half the frosting on fucking one side. Not like on the actual side, you know what I mean? Like you don't get as much frosting on that side as some of the other ones. Uh, Honey Nut Cheerios, a classic. Can't ever go wrong with that. Uh, A tier. Honey Nut Cheerios is A tier, it's a classic. Um, Reese's Puffs. Remember those old commercials? Reese's, Reese's, Puffs, Reese's, Reese's, Puffs. Reese's Puff goes A tier for me. I feel like it's better than Apple Jacks. I feel like it's better than Honey Bunches of Oats. Um, Reese's Puffs is just it's just it's just a solid choice, bro. Uh, Rice Krispies not a fan of Rice Krispies at all. Rice Krispies is ass tier to me. Get them out of here. Cheerios, um, Cheerios is trash to me. Uh, original, regular old stale ass Cheerios not getting the job done. Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms is a curious one because to me, like, I always used to be the kid that, like, just ate the marshmallows. I ate, I ate around the regular grain because the regular grain was ass. So uh, Lucky Charms to me is C tier. Lucky Charms to me is C tier. It is. I eat around it. I just eat the marshmallows. The milk's not that good. The grain, the whole grain's not that good. Lucky Charms is a little overrated. Cocoa Krispies. You know what? I'll move up Cocoa Krispies just because you have the chocolate flavor on there. It's a C tier. But I think Rice Krispies are bottom tier in my opinion. I think like if I had to pick the very back end, they probably Rice Krispies would go there. The Fruit Loops. While I'm not like in love with Fruit Loops, I can tell you guys this. Fruit Loops can't always get the job done. It's probably one of the most solid, consistent cereals that just get the job done and that's why it goes a tier to me and i think it's, it beats apple jacks i think it's right there in that mix there but i think fruit loops are just are just classic uh raisin bran another classic you know the trick about raisin bran though is it's it's how many raisins you getting right right you don't get enough raisins in the box that could be asked, but if you get enough raisins in the box and then they started adding the new boxes that have more raisins in it. So that's, I'll put Raisin Brand as B tier, not in any specific order, B tier. Um, it's just Raisin Brand there, because it depends. You know, you gotta get the, you might have to get the two scoops. You might have to get the box with the two scoops because they be, they be, they be, uh, they be a little stingy on the raisins. Golden Crisp, Golden Crisp, I think is a little underrated by some people. I actually say Golden Crisp go C tier. Nothing said more there. The Fruity Pebbles, baby. The Fruity Pebbles. I'll tell you this. The first time I had Fruity Pebbles, changed the game. Changed, changed the game. Fruity Pebbles, to me, it's another fast one. It's another fast one. You got to get through the Fruity Pebbles fast or it's, it's game over. Fruity Pebbles goes top tier. Top tier. Top tier. Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs is always a solid one. Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs goes with Krispies because they're kind of right in that echelon of the, the chocolate. Okay there. My God, my boy, Tony. Hey, Tony. I like the things you do. Hey, Tony. If I could, I would be you. Frosted Flakes is top tier, bro. Frosted Flakes is the best cereal. Like, no joke. Like, it's just Frosted Flakes cannot be touched, bro. It's just too strong. It's too strong. Granted, all three of the cereals in the S tier, right? Why all these cereals, you know, compete with the sogginess, but like Frosted Flakes, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, are pretty good. They're like so strong when they're not soggy, bro. They're, they're like fucking undefeatable, bro. 
plus the milk consistency like the milk with all these is way better when you drink it like the frosted milk with the frosted flake it's like an icing on top of a cake cinnamon toast crunch is like a horchata the fruity pebbles like it's just like sitting in the tropical breeze bro they can't be touched bro captain crunch with berries baby what the f they put in my captain crunch what did my mom I said berries nigga i said mom they got crunch berries nigga Nigga, crunch berry snicker? I'm like, oh shit. I said, oh hell no. They put the motherfucking berries in the crunch. You already see how I, Captain Crunch moves up the echelon. The Captain Crunch with berries is the best Captain Crunch, hands down. It is grandfathered in legacy status, undefeated, cannot be touched, will always go down as the best Captain Crunch ever conceived of, ever thought of, ever made of. Captain Crunch with berries, baby, too strong. Oh, they do have the two scoops. Raisin Bran with two scoops moves up on the tier list. Moves up on the tier list to A. I'm glad they put that in there because regular Raisin Bran is B. Raisin Bran with two scoops, A tier. Doesn't get to S. Doesn't get to S. Honeycombs, I think, are average. I'll probably put them at, in the front of D tier. They're okay. Um, tricks. Tricks are okay. Tricks will probably go in D, D tier too. I don't fuck with trick. Pops, trash. Pops are in, in D tier. Cocoa Pebbles, y'all saw my consistency with the Pebbles here, the Cocoa Puffs, the Cocoa Krispies. I think I'm gonna say Cocoa P Pebbles are better than the Cocoa Krispies and the Cocoa Puffs. Yes, I have Fruity Pebbles in its S tier, but it's just a different echelon with the fruity flavor, with the chocolate flavor. And you know what? No, I take that back. Fruity Cocoa Pebbles are better than Frosted Mini Wheats. Frosted Mini Wheats, we're gonna, we're gonna switch these. So Cocoa Pebbles goes in B tier. Uh, Mini Wheats goes down to C tier. And then Honey Smacks. Honey Smacks are actually pretty classic. Like you can't mess with the Honey Smacks. Like I actually, like no, no lie, like I enjoy me some Honey Smacks. Honey Smacks are a solid B tier. Underrated. I think Honey Smacks are hella underrated. So there you go, guys. The Four Horsemen in S tier. The Four Horsemen. Frosted Flakes, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Fruity Pebbles, and that Captain Crunch with berries. With berries. Berries? Berries? All right, y'all. So there y'all have it. The Undebatable unbeatable unchallengeable undefeatable tier list of cereal post down in the comments below what tier list you want to see next more tier lists more news more reviews check the channel more videos here i'll check y'all around be easy